Hello, your majesty, and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. <laughs> I'm going to get this dance down. It's going to get hotter. Trust me, I just got to go to some classes. Well, it looks like it is cloudy and pensive today for the royalty of the zodiac, but we are blessed with something nice and special. We have a soul pyramid in fire. That is awesome. Considering you're a fire sign, even more awesome. Now, what it starts from is the moon in Aries. With the moon in Aries, you are emotionally kind of spaced out. You are kind of feeling and thinking about how you feel, okay, so everything is mixing together. During this transit every month, this is when you kind of upgrade and you grow just a little bit emotionally. This is when you replay old phone conversations or replay uh, emails or reread something or a chapter in a book that's important to you. So you're growing anyways. But what the Soul Pyramid does for you is it links Mercury in Sag to the Moon and then to Mars in the house of Ego for Leos. So what this says to me is you're going to put all three of these ingredients together and you're going to have some epiphanies. You're going to have some breakthrough understanding of your soul. So I think you're going to come out of this weekend feeling really fantastic. Now the three areas that it unites is one, how you feel about your beliefs. Okay, so how you feel about your beliefs is really the epicenter of what this is because the moon is the fastest moving planet in this grand trine. But also Mars, moving ahead with the new Leo 2.0 ego, really putting it out there. Of course, you came through the Leo 2.0 ego, but you haven't really marketed it as well. And as DJ David Palmer pointed out to me off camera, Mars is going to be in Leo for almost eight months. So the universe is heavily investing in Leos to put themselves out there. So the new Leo 2.0 must be marketed and must be put out there. And then at the other part of this grand trine is Mercury and Sagittarius, understanding your position in the world, what you're here to do, your spiritual mission, your personal dreams. So personal dreams, how you feel about your beliefs, and putting that ego out there. These three come together for an epiphany, a breakthrough, in the next 24 hours. All right, Your Majesty, that's all I have for the weekend forecast. I will see you on Monday with more. Live, love, be. So God,